up everybody finally got parts to redo the rear end um, this last week I wasn't feeling too good I ended up in the hospital um, took the rest of the week off work feeling pretty good now so I want to take a few hours and work on my truck a little bit um, I went and bought the a Yukon um, yeah, I get that uh, Yukon gear and axle and I bought their uh, just a Dana 44 kit for the internals so end up getting just the pin uh, the spiders and then the other gears for the 30 spline that I got so we're gonna get that assembled today or at least try to get it assembled and maybe put it in the truck maybe not we'll just see how it goes running the generator today my solar is all messed up so i got a video coming for that um but let's get into it so some of the differences here's the new one here's one of the old ones Well, these these teeth are nice and flat on the top and they're the same throughout these ones are real rough and jagged and they're not square all the way down through where the metal's been ate off them pretty good here's the old pin you see all the metal there on the flat spot new pen it's the way it should be all right so so we're gonna do I got all the bearings cleaned up the best I can because uh, I had some dirt in there they sound good I cleaned up all the surfaces first thing we're gonna do is put some new oil surfaces where a little washer's in there. I don't know if you call it a washer or a shim. You know what I mean. That way it's not dry. Same down here. So you don't get that dry metal. Um, I'm also going to do the same on these shims. Shims coated. Do the same here. Check these on the axle, make sure that's the right one. That one's good. And that one's good. These are going to set like so on that one. Turn this on the side. 
set. Push them down in there. And then these two are kind of the hardest. Kind of want to put one like so. And then You want these to be about 100 and 180 degrees of each other. And then all you gotta do is spin it together as one, one unit. Yeah, I was off a tooth. I'm gonna slide this over one and then do the same thing. There we go, it's lined up all the way through. Take a new pin. So it's like you can run it actually anyway because it's double pin. Put a little bit of gear lube on the inside. And then we're going to put a little bit on the pin, make sure that's nice and lubed. And we're going to try to get this. Just right. You want it to go in nice and maybe be a little snug, but you don't want it to be super tight and you don't want it to be super loose. I was worried about this hole being worn out. I'm not seeing any slop, so I think we'll be good. Stick a rag under here so I don't mess the bearing up. Now we just gotta put the find the hole up. Put a little bit of lube in there. Just to lube up the pin so it's not so dry. I'm going to need another hammer. Well, I ended up just tapping that in. I had problems with roll pin. So, we got it all together. We'll screw some more lube on this. And I'm just going to rotate them. Sure, everything's good. I think it feels good and I don't feel any movement. Bearings still feel pretty good. Yeah, 
to do is pull up on these, kind of push in, still come out. And this side, pick them up. They're all pretty good. So now, I'm going to throw this ring gear back on there. started Okay, looks like it's fully seated. Alright, got her all together. Now we gotta put it in the truck. Alright, so this has all been drained for a while. All I'm gonna do is try to clean up all the residual oil that's in here try to get some extra metal out I think we're good check those bearings the bearings look to me they look alright without tearing it apart but it's hard to say I can see the pattern is more towards the end, but uh, I don't see it so jagged, so I'm not too concerned about it at this point. 
call. Let's see if we can get this carrier back in. We got a little bit more room now that I took the exhaust off. I'm going to try to do some in front of the tire exits. I'm going to move the mufflers were way up there and it kind of echoed through the whole back and I don't like that it sounds like a glass pack so I'm gonna try to move the mufflers farther back and out the tail or I'm really considering just bringing them out and then putting them out in front of the fender but I guess we'll see when we get there completely forgot about these Live and learn. Got it started. I don't remember which way these go because I failed to mark them. Last time I did this, I almost had it in and then it fell out. I smashed my thumb, I was pretty pissed.
<laughs> that one tooth. Oh, I have one thread, so I know it ain't gonna come out now. Probably because I had that clip backwards. Sometimes it's hard to get stuff when the camera's in the way. Alright, semi tight. That's the transfer case, it's always, it's always made that noise and I can never figure it out. Every belt at once. Let's throw a dial indicator on there. Alright, so I'm just double checking, nothing really moved. Oh, I got that zeroed out. There's no backlash. About eight, eight to eight and a half. So that didn't move, so I should be good there. All right, so I'm gonna assemble the axles back in. Try and remember if I'm forgetting anything or not. I don't think I. Mine's a little bent. Anyway, you get the picture. important that you do this a little bit at a time. The last time I did this uh, I messed up my bearings. So you're going to want to do is make sure both set, snug it up, come around to the opposite side, tighten in there a little 
that. Come down here. I got this one right here. I have a hard time with. So these you gotta, the four bolts, you gotta walk in real easy. On the, the originally there were one, one piece bearing. So if you just slam that thing in there, uh, it took the bearings out. And that's what I did. Uh, when I, I bought the new um, bearings, put the new bearings on and put the new wheel studs, um, I had to put in the outer race first which was nice because then I could take this and kind of work it in there real nice I have to worry about damaging the seal so now which is pretty good now I just got to do the other side All right, all we got left is to put some oil in it before I forget. Just running a parts master 8090. That's what I usually run. I actually didn't have to buy any because I already had some. I don't remember if this takes two or three. Well, it takes two. 
Oh, I'll just let that drain out a second. black these pipes are that was from my old motor it just smoked all the time it was fat like your eyes would cry the water everything but here's what I got I'll just put it here so my mufflers are here and then they run all the way back and they crack. So the thing about putting my mufflers back there with a little tailpipe. But I really don't want to do that. I much prefer extending my pipe about here put my muffler on and then stuffing it right out the side in front of the tire like so and I actually thought about too just putting the muffler muffler back where it was which again is about right here and then going up over the frame and then stuffing that thing down right here but I guess let me know what you guys think I mean I'm pretty picky on some stuff but I just don't want that glass pack crack you know you stand on it you want that nice horsepower sound and I mean, it just sounds like my Dodge, pretty much. Just a lot faster. Well, that's pretty much wrapped up for this project. Uh, next one, I'll probably be doing exhaust. Uh, not really sure yet. Kind of at a standstill. Got a few small things to work on, but I just don't have all the parts for it yet. So I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.